And so began the legend of Thrill F3. Hey there, everyone, this is Valcal playing as VIP1, and caution, are many rugby balls. Oh, well, that's just dandy. And it's basically, this is the, all the introduction we need. You're gonna be fighting footballs. Also, you have a cape. Which kinda helps on this level where you're just on the raft and being assaulted by a wall. I suppose it's a mistake to call them footballs, cause they're actually been... Whoa, two... two blargs? I don't know how I feel about that, man. Some things were not meant for this type of collaborators. That's just gets kinda scary. Whoa! Lava is well renowned for melting just about anything when it's, you know, leveled with the earth. But when it is left on its own diagonal, in that case, it just stops burning everything. Physics is a pretty strange mistress, let me tell you that. So that was obviously all just a demo to get acquainted with the world and let the blarbs be happy about themselves and their ability to get a little bit of a boon type snack. Although the game still calls them, like in, in text form, mostly calls them Mar. I get the feeling that while they were making this project at the start, like you know, the it was just basically a Mario game, and changing in him to Boon was something that came later on in the project. Also, all the footballs were caused by that one lone guy and his buddy Alf, just kind of sitting near the lava, enjoying the heat, you know? Having a sort of Lamburger sandwich, just kind of floating around in near orbit. And I got four lives, which gets me to the nice number 75. Which is a much better number than whatever I would have had if I had more, not less. Let's get rid of that ice, it is unsightly. Let's go a slippin'! <laughs> so the first part of this level is pretty difficult. I've had a lot of issues with it in the past, I'm aware. Now, I know some people in the past have tried to help me, such as Argumentable and stuff, and... No, I appreciate it, but I still claim that this first part is way super impossible and should totally be stuffed in the Walmart. Now, the joke here is that this doesn't last anymore. The trick for this part is that you want to be always jumping be back against the ice, basically. Um, I like what they're going for, basically it's like, you know, it's... I think the flavor that's kind of hunt... Oh shoot! That's kind of aimed for here is like, you know, the sort of like... You know, like very thin ice and, and stuff. You know, you know, it's very thin, so you can kind of fall off at any time and whatnot. I think that's the flavor they're going for. But honestly, I'm not sure, 100%. And also, it could have done been done a lot better. As in, a lot better. But, you know, a lot better. SLOT MACHINE! It used to be just called SLOT! The translation <laughs> added a machine. So on this level, you're basically playing the slot, and it decides whether you win or not entirely on this. It's something that's gonna get revisited in VIP 4, it's pretty great. <laughs> this is the sort of pure gimmick level that really endeared me with the VIPs over time, because before I played this game, I never played, you know, let's say, an entire level dedicated to a simple stupid gimmick, and then no reiteration or anything, it's just, that's it, there you go. Although at first I didn't even, I don't know if I even know if this was, oh man, after slipping, we're going diving. I don't know if I knew that this was a collaboration or not. Die. Which level is this? Time for the maker to make excuses. If you slip through the wall here, you'll die an unnatural death. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna explain glitches as features. Good time. Don't try to enter from the water. I don't think it'll make you too angry. I favor the results look, so please be understanding. 
Man, so basically explain, you no know, trying to excuse glitches as features, and then being very bad at video games. And then saying, oh well, it's because this is a visual level. Doopy doo. So, this level has a very small time limit, so I should probably be faster. I should probably be better at it too, but wow, that was... Yeah, like, no excuses there, buddy cow cow. Jeez, I'm just kind of falling on everything. You'd almost swear I knew how to play the interactive entertainment industry thing. Wow, that was just pathetic. I that whole sequence there. I came in fully prepared and fully armed, and then this is what I do with that advantage. I just kind of poop all over the place and don't even change my shoes before going in. To be fair, a big part of this level is, you know, going down on stuff that you don't necessarily really see ahead of time. Also, a big part of this level is... Rip Van Fish being in very, very tight areas. Uh, that's a lot more dangerous than the glitchy wall, let me tell you that. If you've got power-ups, it's a lot more manageable, but I don't right now. This is a thing. It's pretty great. Thank you. With fireballs, I'll be able to defend myself a little bit. Just a little bit can make all the difference. Hey there, Turbo Urchin, how's it going today? Whoa, 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 fireballs are pretty nice, but they smell kinda weird. Because they smell the smell of burning, obviously, I mean, it is fire after all. Hi guy, you're pretty swell, right things? Y'all all are pretty swell. So I need to watch out because here, yeah, it kind of want to makes it just drop suddenly. It's pretty great like that. So I guess since I have fire in hand, I'm gonna try and go ahead and do the secret exit first. Um, I should probably burn a lot of my enemies because basically to get a secret exit, you go down the left here, then you get the key, then you go back up. If you go on the right, that leads to the words peace and harmony. So, you know, that's how the level is divided up. Divided. Yeah, what? Whatever, fish face man. You ain't no face of mine, you're a fish. I'm a man, so I don't need a fish's face. Not unless I am terribly hungry for gross food. Urchin, you are crazy beans. Diagonals do not agree with you. Jeez, please calm down your baker's face. It is for the good of mankind. Thank you very much for your non-understanding. Non-optimized understanding. Whoa jeez, whoa jeez, whoa jeez, whoa jeez, whoa jeez. So, but usually there's a key here, but the penalty of enemies here are making it not spawn correctly. It's, uh, it's also a feature, I'm certain. See, there it is. It's, it's totally a feature. What are you talking about? It's the featurest of all the features. So now I got, uh, uh, one Mario time unit is lesser than a second, so I have maybe around a minute to get back up. Now, of course, going back up isn't that as slow, except there's enemies around. I kind of don't want to get eaten by the nasty fish life that resides in the ocean. At the same time, I'm hilariously glitching out all over the place, which makes it harder than it needs to be. But that's a feature, remember? So it has to be okay, I guess. Uh, well, at the very least... Oh, come on! Stupid walls! They're like magnets. It's kind of dumb. Really? What? Ah, Simonac. Well, can't do much about it there. Well, since I'm not big, problem is if you don't have fireballs, you can't destroy the fish at the bottom. 
so it becomes kind of impossible to have the key actually spawn. Let's call that a feature too, and I got surprised by an urchin, it's pretty great. Green. So anytime you're making a level that vertically scrolls downwards, not seeing things is kind of a problem you're gonna get no matter what. But uh, since I'm in this direction, I don't know if I'd have time to go up and back down. Might as well just continue in this direction for now. In the future, I'll be able to like... Gosh, really? And this is kind of compounded when you got glitchy hills that kind of make you turbo downward sometimes. Because, you know, features... <laughs> it's always a feature. Whoa! I... Whoa, what? Jeez. Oh, oh, wow, okay, I wanted to kill that fish and I... How do you dodge that? Like, really? This does not seem possible to me. I don't know what makes me say such a crazy thing, but... Hey, fish, can you, like, glitch into the... No? I know, I know, I know. Problem is I don't really have time to take my time. But now I don't really have to take my time anymore, because now the because I've removed most of the fishes. Uh I get a feeling I should try and get the cape from one of the green things, but I don't know if I really have realistically time to do that, as I'm kind of currently struggling to remove my feet from, you know, the connective tissues of the sticky mud uh, underneath me. But no, yeah, the investment of removing... Oh jeez, the enemies from it. Stupid wall, stupid. And of course, how do you this is literally impossible? What the hell? Because there's too much poop here. And I don't have enough time anyways. Chilling, glitching in walls and whatnot. Time. It's nice to know I'm not the only one struggling with mysteries of physicalities. So, what? Were you just like placed in there or what? Blocks have no idea what the hell. Pretty much like me. We are akin. Oh, this is some pretty good craftsmanship there. <laughs> uh, as we're going down the bowels and intestines of the world, which I think is a tautology, well, whatever. We can make do. I'm pretty sure there's a fireball or something in one of these, but honestly, I'm kind of running out of time, so if I can make it through, 
that'd be nice. Everyone involved in this mess. Just destroy the world, destroy the world, destroy the world. Also, if you got time, if you could please destroy the world, that would be nice. Instead, I'm gonna steal the fish's effigy towards their god or whatever. The important part is it is flashy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and steal it for myself. Wow! A knowingly glitchy level is kind of not very, you know, agreeing with my roast and nostalgia. How surprising. Let's secret this exit. Stop glitching into things. Stop glitching into things. Jesus Christ, just go up, please. <sighs> this is so impossible. What the hell? Uh, come on, jump! Freaking hell! Just leave the ground! That should not be a challenge in and of itself. Leave the ground. And I'm run out of time. This is ridiculous. Constantly like that. I think there's, you know, some form of legitimate defense there. This is how you get to World 4, by the way. If you don't find this, you just go straight to one of the two World 5s, because there are two of them. But next time, we're gonna keep on going on with World 3. The castle of World 3 is pretty hard too, so let's just say I'm apprehensive. This is Vavacow. Oi, could have gone better. <laughs> oh, jeez. 